And one particular area that has gained a great deal of traction is an area called pre-exposure prophylaxis. And for short, I'm just going to call it PrEP. So this means before you get exposed to the virus, you're going to take something that will prevent it. And you could see there are actually many studies done already using drugs. Drugs that we use to treat patients now could be used to, to prevent high-risk but uninfected individuals from becoming infected. And there are many drugs that, again, the technical details are not important. There are generally what's called reverse transcriptase inhibitor or inhibitors, okay, one or two drugs. And these are studies done to, to look at effect on sexual transmission or uh, transmission uh, among injection drug users. And you could see that, so for example, let's take a study like this. It simply would be in high-risk gay men, uh, and they would take a, a pill every day. They're not infected, but they're at risk for infection. They would take a pill every day, and it turns out that in that study, the efficacy is in the order. Oh, this is shift. This is in the. There's something wrong here. This is about 50 percent or so. So it lowered the infection rate by 50 percent. But in some other study, the efficacy is as high as 70%. But you also see in other studies, the efficacy is, is essentially nil. So does it work or does it not work? I guess the bulk of the evidence suggests that this is a decent approach. And the variability here is explained very simply by one factor. And that factor is the adherence to taking the medicine. This should not surprise you in that if you look at effectiveness as correlated to uh, drug levels as an indication of adherence, the, the more adherent subjects, the greater the efficacy. The non-adherent subjects, the efficacy is essentially zero. So, so drugs do work but human behavior is lacking, and that's not surprising. M most of us, myself included, don't take our drugs as prescribed. Uh, even for a short course, like a course of penicillin for strep throat, uh, most of us, once the pain is gone, we don't finish the entire course. And, and this is well known in the medical literature, I would just give you one very concrete example. If you look at contraception, this is contraception controlled by women, for example. If you compare short-acting methods, daily methods, like a pill, for example. There are other methods, but just a pill, or a injection that you could take every three months. And you look at the unintended pregnancy rate, it's about 18-fold difference. And the reason is, if you ask the woman to take the pill every day, the adherence is not perfect. Whereas the long acting just removes the human factor. And the unintended pregnancy rate is lower by more than a log. So, so drugs do work, and antiviral agents do work, but we really need to deal with reality, and the reality is that our behavior is suboptimal when it comes to HIV prevention. We already have something that works about 99.5% of the time, and that's a condom, and yet the epidemic goes on. So <clears throat> we need to come up with something else. 